Hi, everybody. It's Mr. Ron. And this is the circle time for the week of May 4th through the 8th. Uh, so let's get started. Make sure everybody's here. Are you ready? We'll um, sing our hello song. Hola, buenos dias. Me llamo, senor. You say your name. Ron. But your name's not Ron. Hoy es un buen día. Me siento muy feliz. You smile and say, hola, amigos. Ready? Hola, amigos. Uh, so, uh, well, that was our hello. So let's see if we can do all of our hellos. We have 20 hellos for 2020. And I think we decided we're not going to add any more. We've been adding one a year, every year. And uh, I think 20 is enough. It's a lot. It's a lot of hellos. Are you ready? So I'll say it. And then you say it back. Hello. Hola, bonjour, buongiorno, guten morgen, ni hao, ohio, aloha, salam, zidravo, namaste, meriba, anyang haseo, pliviat, jambo, aingai, yate, kiora, sawadi, Kasaleli, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And the weekend is Saturday and Sunday. Stay at home days. You know, try in Spanish. Lunes, martes, miércoles, jueves, viernes. And the weekend is, we'll do this one like the, uh, the turtle. Ready? Sabido y domingo, stay at casa days. Oh no. The last one is uh, in French. Lundi, Marti, Mercredi, Jeudi, Vendredi. And the weekend is Samedi. Oh, we're going to do that like the tough guy. Everyone likes the tough guy. Samedi, Dimanche, stay at Maison Days. Ah! <laughs> nice job. Um, so we did this one with that, I think. Oh, uh, oh, I'm sorry. This is getting the sunshine. I'm getting all sleepy now. Hmm. Uh. Oh, what a, what a, uh, so, uh, I think I mentioned before that for, I don't know why, but the computer makes everything backwards. So if you were at school, all of our stuff would be up on the wall up here. But now that everything's backwards, it's actually... Up here, you can see the map. The United States is backwards, and the world's backwards, and the planets are in the wrong order, and this stuff. And my hat's backwards. My face is backwards. Everything, my shirt's backwards. Everything's backwards. Um, <laughs> okay, so, uh, so, what's up on the wall? The color of the week would be on the wall. Who are we here? But we're not here. It's the color this week is tan. And we talked about how everybody's got tan. Everybody's got some kind of skin color. It might be darker, it might be lighter, but everyone's got tan. Uh, if you're looking for tan as a color around the room, tan is usually a very light brown. Wood that doesn't have a lot of um, stain on it or a lot of color, just plain old wood, that's tan color. If you have a wood floor, that's a light color, that's probably tan. So I guess everybody's got some tan. You want to look around the room and see uh, three things that are tan that are not skin. Um, you ready? One, two, wait. One, two, three, go. Did you do it? Did you find three? Oh, good. I found three. Uh, let's see. The letter of the week is N. Uh, N is this one. So you put your hand up. You put your thumb. Put two down. Put your thumb in the middle and two on top. So two on one side, two on the other side. Oh wait, I'm supposed to do it with this hand. It's supposed to be your right hand, but um, this, this is my right hand, but on this backwards computer is my left hand. So I'll try to do it this way, but it always confuses me. I'm not used to doing it with this hand. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm yawning. I think because of the sleepy sunshine. 
Night night. Hmm. Oh, what? What is the? What? Huh? Where are we? Oh, hey, the kids are here. Hi, kids. What's going on? <laughs> All right. Letter N. Are you ready? So to make this into the letter A, I just put my thumb on the side like that. A. S is in front. And N is inside. M. N. T. A. All right. Wait, ooh. Okay, I'm going on. Are you guys ready? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X. Oh, oh, Y. <laughs> and Z. Z is for spaghetti? No. Diaper? No. Toothy? No. What is it for? Oh, Zeal. Zilbla. Z. Zebra. I've gotten all silly now that I've been so sleepy. Um. Oh. <clears throat> now I know my ABCs. Next time won't you sing with me. Nice job. Our science this week is the sun up in the sky. Uh, now, when you look out, our sun is a star. It's just, oh, I'm so sorry. Uh, our, sun is, our sun is a star. It's just the closest star to our planet. Uh, it's actually our star. Uh, the planets all belong to it. Planets go around it and around it. Sun travels through our galaxy on its long path. It kind of goes up and down and all the way around the galaxy going up and down the whole time and all the planets followed around so here's the sun it going up and down the planets go like this and the sun just goes up and down and travels around bye bye sun uh, so when you are at night and you look up at the sky and you see all those stars those are all suns and a lot of them have planets and maybe some of those planets are like our planet maybe there's a kid on one of those planets that's looking up at the same time you are and looking at our star and wondering if there's kids on it. So, who knows? Maybe there's a lot of kids at night looking back at you wondering if you're out there. Could be. An awful lot of planets. Uh, and our region is Colombia. Uh, Colombia is a country in South America. It's the um, second largest country by population after Brazil. We were in Brazil last week. So I've got a couple of fun facts about Colombia. Uh, most people, here's the first one. Most people in Colombia speak Spanish. It's the national language. Uh, there are also a lot of native languages that people speak in Colombia, but Spanish is the main one. So uh, you guys learn Spanish with Miss Rebecca. So if you were to go to Colombia, you could say hola, you could say gracias. There's a lot of things that you guys know how to say. You could count. So they speak Spanish. Uh, the highest waterfall in Colombia is called La Chorrera. Oh, I am so sorry again. I yawned again. Uh, La Chorrera Falls. And La Chorrera Falls is 1,936 feet tall. So... If you want to imagine how tall that is, imagine having standing right here and having the Space Needle right in front of you. Big Space Needle. Now, you'd have to put two more Space Needles on top of that to be up to about 1,936 feet. That's crazy tall. That's how tall this waterfall is. Um, ah, Colombia is famous for its huge and beautiful uh, emerald 
crystals. They're a kind of a gem that's very expensive, and they're very, very green. So um, if you and mom and dad are on the computer looking around, ask mom and dad if they'd show you a picture of some emeralds. They're really pretty, very sparkly. Uh, uh, a fruit that people like in Colombia is called lula fruit. And a lula fruit is a little strange. We don't have them here. Um, I think they have to grow in some place hot, so it might not be hot enough. Maybe someone could grow one in a greenhouse, or maybe you can grow one inside. But a lula fruit looks kind of like a small yellow tomato, but it tastes like a cross between a lime and rhubarb. I don't know if you've ever had rhubarb. Sometimes people make rhubarb pie, but it's kind of lime flavored, so... It's a little strange, but people in Brazil really like it. They squeeze it and it has a green juice and they make uh, a drink called Lulada uh, and people in Brazil really like it. I, uh, he, oh, and for our fifth fact, the most popular food in Colombia is called arepas and arepas is a, um, well, it's kind of like an English muffin. If you were to make a really wide, not very thick English muffin, but made it out of corn, and then you kind of, after it's cooked, you can kind of open up one side and fill it up with things. So you can kind of eat it like a, like a pita, sort of. Um, sometimes people make them really flat and then put stuff on top of it like a taco and fold it. But those are arepas, and they're very, very popular in, um, in Colombia. All right. Anything else? Oh, I almost forgot to tell you about um, our days, what we're doing this week. So Monday is Jungle Day. So at home, maybe you can get on the computer with mom or dad and look at some jungle animals. Uh, we'll have some videos down below here that you guys can look at. Now, I'm sure we'll have something about a jungle. In there. Uh, Tuesday is National Teacher Day. So um, uh, if you want on Tuesday... You can just holler, hello, Mr. Ron, hello, Mr. Rebecca, hello, Miss Aida, and, and wave. And then we'll go, wait a minute, I think someone's saying hello and waving at me. Uh, Wednesday is wear tan day. So if you have something that's tan colored, you can wear it. Uh, Thursday, we if we were at school, we'd be making sun art. But uh, so... You can make your own sun art. And one way that's really easy, we talked about this last week for making moon art, but is getting a plain piece of paper and finding something round, like a small plate or maybe a big lid, like a Tupperware lid, something round. You put that on the plate and then using a pencil or a crayon, you go very carefully, draw all the way around and you'll have a perfect circle. And then to, to make the sun, a lot of times people will make a ziggity-zaggity line all around the circle. I'm sure you've seen that. Uh, and for most people, when they look at that, they go, oh, that's the sun. Uh, and then to make the sun, you get a yellow crayon and color inside the circle. Or it could be a yellow, I guess you have a yellow marker. And then inside the ziggity-zaggity lines. Sometimes people just put straight lines coming out of the circle, and that looks like the sun. So there, you can just do that and make your very own sun. Wouldn't that be awesome? Uh, and then Friday, I think I said last week that we would be doing our um, We Love Moms thing, but actually it would be this week, because Mother's Day is this Sunday, not last Sunday. Although any Sunday, you can go up and say, I love you, Mama. Uh, mamas love that. Uh, but this, this Sunday is Mother's Day. So on Friday... You could tell mom that this is the first day of Mother's Day. You do Friday, Saturday, and then Sunday is the actual Mother's Day. So you got three days of, you can help mom around the house. You can clean up your messes. Um, you could do something nice for her or just give her a lot of hugs and kisses and say, I love you. Well, that's everything I've got for today. So I hope everyone's doing good and I'll see you guys uh, next time. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye.